Right, question three. Now, first thing that I always do with these is I draw myself a little diagram. I don't worry too much about kind of where A, B, and C are. Okay, I'm just in relation to the origin, okay? and I've just drawn those points in. All right, it just helps me picture what's going on. So the first question is A to B. That's that bit and that bit. So that's going to be minus 2i plus 5j minus 6k, and then plus this bit. So add minus 3j minus 4k. Right, minus these, add that bit. So minus 2i minus 5j plus 6k. Just write the whole thing out. Don't make silly mistakes. Right, piece it all together. What have we got? We've got i, we've got minus 8j, and then we've got plus 2k. There we go. There's part A done. Right, part B. Now, part B, it says, show that quadrilateral OABC is a trapezium, given reasons for your answers. Right, so I'm going to think about, well, why have we just worked this out here, right? Why is it leading me through? They say, There's always a reason why it's told me to do that there. So, what we need to do here, it's nice and simple, is if you compare this one, right, think about a trapezium, right, trapezium dot, it's got to have a pair of parallel sides. So think about vectors, how do you show parallel sides? So if we just think to ourselves, well, what was A to B? Okay, we've got that there. So A to B is I minus 8J plus 2K. Now think about the one that's opposite to that. So there's a B, so OC, OC, and OC is 2i. And if you just write them one above the other, hopefully you'll just see that no, this one's twice as big as that one. All right, so if I now write OC is equal to two lots of AB there, therefore, they must be parallel, which four sides, therefore, if you've got opposite sides, therefore, it must be a trapezium. There you go.